Obviously, Lynch had no shortage of things to do, and filmmaking seemed to be a remote aspect of his life at that point. When I first started working for David, it seemed like he was in a funk about movies, said Boreal. He hadn't made anything for a long time, and the last thing he made was Inland Empire, which got mixed reviews. Then in 2010, he wrote an incredible script called Antelope Don't Run No More, and he shopped it around, but nobody offered him the funding he felt he needed to make it. When he couldn't get it financed, I don't think he was horribly upset, though. David believes that if a thing is meant to be, it will happen. Set mostly in Los Angeles, Antelope Don't Run No More braids threads from Mulholland Drive and Inland Empire into a narrative fantasia that incorporates space aliens, talking animals, and a beleaguered musician named Pinky. It's impressed everyone who's read it as one of the best scripts Lynch has ever written. That audio that you just heard is from Room to Dream, the memoir slash biography released in 2018 by David Lynch and Christine McKenna, which goes through Lynch's life and details the trajectory of his artistic career. If you're like me, not only did you purchase the hardback version of Room to Dream back when it came out in June of 2018, but also the audiobook, which was narrated by Lynch and McKenna, who alternate every other chapter. Needless to say, it's a must-read for Lynch fans, and a real treat too if you're someone that's a fan of hearing David Lynch tell stories. This memoir slash biography was the first time the public got any wind of this mysterious project, Antelope Don't Run No More, and as soon as I heard that audio towards the end of listening to Room to Dream, I couldn't believe what I had heard. Obviously most fans of Lynch dream of seeing Ronnie Rocket come to fruition one day, which is probably his most famous unmade project, but this script sounds almost just as insane, and it's almost just as sad to me that it never got made. It's honestly a painful reminder of how much control the big money has in Hollywood. And it's downright criminal that films like this one are routinely passed on because they want to be profitable enough. While meanwhile, the studios bankroll multi-million dollar blockbusters of increasingly substandard quality. Antelope Don't Run No More is certainly a project I haven't stopped dreaming about since hearing of it for the first time during that initial listening to of Room to Dream. Perhaps we'll see some of the ideas from Antelope Don't Run No More pop up in David Lynch's upcoming series. After all, it wouldn't be the first time that Talking Animals have appeared in a David Lynch project for Netflix. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and also consider yourself a fan of David Lynch, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos here at the David Lynch Diner channel exploring the art of David Lynch, including some more of his unmade projects as well as some updates on the new project for Netflix that he's working on right now. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time at the David Lynch Diner.